Come on, Twitch, you can do it. Yeah. No, not that. There we go. What up, my fellow winners? All right, sweet. Here we go. Wednesday, midweek chilling. I'm gonna do a little less, oh, I was like, am I in Rocket League right now? <laughs> a little less uh, creative in training today, and a little bit more games, but Still not by much. I think if I do 20, 25 minutes of practice stuff, then uh, I can get a couple games in and then switch games and do the whole dog and, and pony show. Uh, interesting. Good deal. Well, hump day is complete. We're here on the down slope now. That is definitely a relief. Oh, I'm already doing the thing where I hit Y. <laughs> Creative. Didn't take long. I probably need to clear this map at some point. But it's fine for now. Alright, cool. So, playing for today, like I said, we'll, uh, we'll rock Creative a little bit. I'm trying to just... Uh, get some actual intentional practice in. Uh, I think the streams are a good way to do it, too, because it's not near as entertaining... I get bored after like 10 minutes of uh, just building and editing, practicing, if uh, if I'm not streaming. Let me rock this. Mr. B Shingle 92 Hello, sir. Hello, hello. Um, anyways. Uh, I finish messing with this. Cool. So yeah, just trying to use this as a good way to, to kind of get some actual practice in when it's not so boring. Like me just sitting here uh, building and editing. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll rock some of this. Uh, as usual, I'll try to get a little bit more Fortnite than Rocket League in, but roughly halfway point I'll, I'll switch on over. A couple of, uh, or a little bit of time in the training area on Rocket League. Um, and then get a couple games in. I bugged out of a game that I had eight kills in earlier. That was exciting. It was like the very beginning of the game, too, almost. Welcome to my life. Right, we'll do one more round of this. I can already tell, well, famous last words, I was going to say, I can already tell that I most certainly am improving, even despite that. It's feeling good right now. Just the 90s, for lack of a better term. <laughs> and uh, the hard ramps and stuff. Hard ramps, I, I've definitely felt pretty good on. That one's, that's one that I can already pretty much do by muscle memory. I just have to think about, like, okay, build a, build a hard ramp, and then I can do it. Which, as I've said before, is easier said than done in-game sometime, sometimes. Um, topic for today, I'm going to be discussing uh, self-awareness. So, I've mentioned this before, but just to reiterate, Wednesday's topics are going to be a lot, you know, less competition-related, a little bit more uh, general life and mindset-related. Um, so yeah, I think that, uh, that this is going to be a solid one. It's, uh, again, like Mondays, a topic that I'm very passionate about, and uh, I'll t kind of talk about what I mean by that here uh, shortly. What I mean by social... Uh, by um, self-awareness, I mean. Uh, I got that one. Yeah, see, once I reach a point like this, I'm like, I'm feeling pretty warmed up, and 
I, uh... As I've mentioned before, I know that I'm never gonna be a, a pure sweat turbo builder. As long as I can execute these types of edits in like an end game scenario and not screw it up and lose the game because of it, that's kind of what I'm going for. I need to do a couple of window things. So reset, hit that one. Reset, maybe the middle. Reset, hit this one. And so my goal is to like change the window to where I'm at. So here, or maybe to where I'm right on the other side of, so I could like you know peek shoot. Oi, mate! Howdy! Yeah, it will. Just don't really know that. Helpful if you can actually do it. <laughs> Which there's <laughs> no way without a good two seconds to line it up, I'd be able to do it. That's okay. Get this guy back. Uh, what was one? Yeah, waterfalls. Is that? We need to do left side 90s, little um, cut out, cut out this over here. Ah, oh, shoot, I forgot to put the floor in. It's tough because you have to like look the wall direction and then immediately like look down. Hopefully over time here in the next few months I can get my look sensitivity up a little bit because I did think about that the other day of uh, while I was playing a, a game I could just tell that you know whoever was that killed me I was like man their look sense is so high and I have not changed mine in quite some time. Supposedly you're supposed to increase it slowly little by little as you get more comfortable with the, the game. Just double that. Um, this one. No. It will not. Ah, nice. Just doing that to be OCD. Okay. Boom, boom. Nope, didn't even catch it that time. I'm just gonna go back up to this one, this. Right back into it. Oh boy, my left side is. Oh boy, no. Nice. Cool. One that is one that will have to be practiced quite a lot in order to uh, to get it down. But hey, it felt nice at least being able to execute it after only a couple tries. Okay, I'm gonna knock this down. I'm already rearing to go. Honestly, what time is it? Six ten. Ten minutes deep. <laughs> Uh, focus. We gotta get the gotta put the time in. Dang it! One good thing about screwing that up more and more is at least I'm getting good at fixing it pretty quickly. Nice mess around these boxes again. Turn down my heat because it's been hot as heck all evening. My goodness. Okay. Alright. 
catch this and then yeah. sweet I'm trying to think of some other helpful things that could use practice but um, while I'm still dinking around in here so uh, again, the main topic I want to talk about today was is uh, self-awareness, and I'll dive into that a little bit here. So, obviously, self-awareness is fairly self-explanatory, but what self-awareness kind of means to me is just being aware of who you are, uh, your likes, dislikes, strengths, weaknesses, um, even your habits, and how you interact with people. Um, being self-aware is extremely helpful in all walks of life, I would say. I, I, I certainly know it helps me a lot in the professional world. Um, you know, just uh, being more confident, I think. I think that self-awareness makes you more confident inherently. Because um, again, you're hyper aware of your strengths and your weaknesses, so you Hopefully then, of course, work on your weaknesses and, you know, can get them to a point where they're weaker weaknesses than maybe they uh, they were when you started, uh, you know, kind of working on them or whatever. So, and over time, of course, you can hopefully continue to, to grow upon that. And once you get some years under your belt, hopefully those weaknesses are uh, hardly noticeable. So... I think it definitely, like I said, helps you in your in the confidence category. Um, I think for me, it helps me in day-to-day -day life management um, when it comes to just getting stuff done, being productive. I, I know the habits that work for me. Oops, I mean, yeah. The habits that work for me, how to get myself to do stuff, because, you know, Oh man, that's close. We all have uh, unproductive times, and if you know kind of strategies of how to get yourself out of unproductive times, um, then you can be more productive. So that's certainly a good thing as well. But, um, let's see. Beyond, there was another thing outside of habits and quirks. I think for me, uh, a big way that, that self-awareness helped me was how I react to stuff. Uh, it kind of goes back to what I mentioned about interacting socially, but uh, like how I react to conflict, for example. I, I am very emotionally driven when it comes to conflict, and I tend to kind of you know get all worked up and shoot my stupid mouth off and say stuff that I shouldn't. So, as I've kind of gotten older and matured, and uh, read a couple of books on um, specifically conflict management, I think that it's gotten a lot better. I'm still not perfect, and I know that. Um, so it's still something I work on and have to work on, but again, at least for me, it's far better than I was in like middle school, um, or even younger than that. I was a devil child. Um, I am hyper competitive, so I had to learn as I got older to ease up a little bit, um, which I'm glad that I have done because I, it makes me enjoy things a lot more. I used to get so frustrated. Uh, I remember storming out of a bowling alley one time, punching the, the entrance door, and luckily it didn't break. It was glass. But I remember hearing it, like, kind of crackle a little bit, and I was like, oh, well, that's, that's probably not good. Um, grew up a big golfer and used to rage on the golf course. And luckily now, I, I mean, I really don't even keep score when I go golf because I purposely just want it to be fun, you know. I, I feel like life is stressful enough already. The last thing that I want to do is go out on a, a weekend uh you know, a nice Saturday afternoon and spend four hours being pissed off and ruining my own time. So, so I can do the, uh, very slow.
So yeah, anyways, um, that again came from me taking some time to analyze myself. I think self-analyzing is how I've gotten a lot of the self-awareness stuff down. Um, just, just analyzing, you know, watching and and taking note of some of your habits and your tendencies and things like that. Um, after I kind of took inventory of myself in some of those ways, the the raging in competition and the firing my stupid mouth off. <laughs> I was like, those are two things that it should probably be addressed pretty quickly, and I, I definitely addressed them, and I'm far from perfect, but I'm far better than I used to be, so that is, uh, that's the type of stuff that you can typically get out of, um, yeah, exactly, Happy Gilmore type stuff, for real, um, I'm about as warmed up as I'm gonna be, honestly, so I'm just gonna run some games, I'll keep it light, though, um, what was I saying? Lost some of the old train of thought. But, um... But anyways. Uh, I think another thing that uh, really helped me become more self-aware was studying personality types. So, uh, I had to do that... Not had to. I was exposed to that when I was in college. Um through some program that I was in. Uh, and, I mean, when you're ignorant of personality types, yeah, I mean, you're just ignorant. You don't, you don't know kind of the differences and what all the stuff means and even what you are. So studying that, uh, like the DISC is the one that we use, at least in the professional world. That's the one that I have taken most recently. And uh, the, probably the only one that I actually remember what my um, what my uh, category category is. So um, I think it's really important to do some of those things. If you've never done a personality test before, I'd highly encourage you to look one up. Uh, you might even be able to just watch a YouTube video. Some of them you have to pay for, especially the more professional ones. So if you would like to not do that, you can probably find a YouTube video that describes the four categories and you could probably self-identify with one of the four just from the descriptions um but disc at least is uh d-i-s-c d is direct i is ins inspirator or something along those lines or um if you guys know them and i'm screwing them up let me know uh, i believe it's direct something along the lines of in inspirer um and then S and C uh, are the more reserved, more introverted ones. I am struggling to remember what the uh, the names of them are, though. Um, one of them is is your your just your very analyzing person. Um, yeah, dominance. I, I thought it was direct, but dominance, but it's that's still fairly close. Um, either the S or the C is like your engineer type person that is very analytical, very data driven, very logic driven. Influence, yep. Steadiness, okay. Dominance, influence, steadiness. Let me know if you have that other one there, big dog. But, uh... I believe steadiness, uh... That's kind of the personality type that fits most... Conscientiousness. Um... I believe the steadiness one is the one that's a bit more engineer. Again, they're very analytical, very numbers-driven, very logical thinking. Um, not necessarily not friendly, but oftentimes a, a bit more reserved, um, which just kind of goes along with, I'm going to use the burst, uh, today. I like, kind of like switching guns up a little bit, and I've been using a lot of these other guns a bit much. Um, but, uh, and then the conscientious, I think that's kind of your, 
um, like nurse or therapist or um, not necessarily teacher, but like take care folks. Just the very, um, the very emotion driven, the very uh, reserved, um, that type of person. So, anyways, all that to say, uh, highly recommend again figuring out which one you are from the four either from the descriptions or watching a YouTube video or maybe you can find like a short read version on them and just kind of choose for yourself most of the actual tests you take a, a test like a questionnaire and they're pretty lengthy uh, and then you know once you hit submit it will it will show you your results but um, once I took a personality test for the first time uh, it, it tells you a lot about the designation that you were given. So like typical strengths and typical um, weaknesses and tendencies and things like that. And uh, again, I think it's really important to, to be aware of that stuff. Um, you can save yourself from you know making a lot of mistakes, uh, reacting poorly to a certain situation. I have two keys, so I'm definitely something out of here. So yeah. Do it. Do it. Do it. Another important thing about the personality test in uh, particular uh, is that they it's not a all or nothing, so you will get a percentage of each of the four. Um, I do not know how to drive this. You get a percentage of the four uh, for each one. So you might be 15%, be 20%, I... 35% S and then 30% C something like that. So you'll, have, you'll likely have one that is the strongest but they uh, they are not it's not just all or nothing. I am a strong I I have a, a decent amount of the dominance characteristic um, and then I think an even like 15% of each of the of the S and C. Um, so yeah, what I learned from that and what it, it told me in, in the test that I took is I personality um, or uh, influence personality types, they are very passionate. They are very... Um, very driven typically, but not near as driven as like a dominance type personality. Um, we will we will back off, you know. Uh, influence type people will will back off of stuff if we feel that somebody is uh, uncomfortable or um, or if we're not, you know, getting our desired result not only in the result category but you know the relationship if you will with the, the other person um so yeah still quite driven but empathetic i would say uh passionate in in both a, a good and a bad way uh, i can very easily get disinterested in things and a couple of jobs i've had in the past um you know, I, I lose interest very, very quickly just because I'm like this. I'm not deeply passionate about this, or I don't feel like I'm really making a difference in any way in the grand scheme of things. We're very, very big thinkers, very um, big picture type people. Um, so things that seem menial and small, I'm like, 
I don't give two shits about this. Like, I'm not putting any of my actual effort and energy towards it. So, uh, I worked at a cell phone store. Did I just bug out again? Oh, man, it just glitched me backwards. I was going to be uh, a little frustrated. But anyways, worked at a cell phone store at one point, And while I was making decent money, um, I was so disinterested because I didn't feel unique in that role. I felt like, you know, anybody could do what I'm doing right now. Um, and, I, you know, if they're not going to buy a cell phone from me, they're just going to go buy it from one of the other 700 cell phone salesmen in my city. <laughs> so, I, I definitely struggled with, uh, with, uh, like, being energetic in that job and just was constantly disinterested and... And that's where it can kind of come into play in a negative way, is if you need to make money, well, you better find something that you can get interested in that makes you money. Because <laughs> uh, you got paid in bills. Personality types ain't going to do it for you. Uh, so, so those are the types of things that you can learn from, uh, from those personality types or the personality tests, uh, just to give you a taste of what you can expect in case you take one. But, um, but yeah, I, I think that it's great not only for yourself in regards to personality ty types, but also in other people. Because some of the traits in personality uh, types are very, very obvious. I'm honestly going to take these floppers instead of this. Um, keg. Because I feel like lobbies, it is not easy to get enough time for your shield to regain uh, from a keg before you get pushed. But um, I think you can learn a lot about other people. And if if you get it to the point where you're quite familiar with the personality types and traits and things, you can almost pick them out and and figure out like so and so. Like you meet somebody new. And within 10 minutes, you're like, they're, they're likely a whatever personality type. So based on what you know of said personality type, you might be able to, uh, oh, I'm going to avoid, um, I'm going to avoid uh, embarrassing them. For I type people, being embarrassed is not a good time. So... If, if people do it intentionally, it doesn't really happen to me that much anymore because I just don't really care. <laughs> um, but when I was younger, being embarrassed in a group was uh, was very frustrating for me. And I may not say it in the moment, but I would certainly uh, not necessarily hold a grudge, but just kind of make a mental note of it and just be like, all right. Okay, if you want to play games, I'll remember that. Just one of those types of things. Um, so anyways, people who are familiar with personality types, they could meet me. And mine is pretty open and out there. It's not a very hard one to to diagnose, if you know them. Um, so they could, you know, make mental note. All right. If I embarrass Aaron, he's going to be pissed. So if I want, you know, if I'm trying to get close to him, then... Uh, that it's not a, a good way to do it. Uh, same thing for D people. If I can pick somebody out as a very dominant uh, and dominant person, then I will expect them to be very forceful sometimes and very uh, unwavering if you're negotiating, for example, uh, or you're trying to pick something to do um, making decisions, they're very decisive. Look at this guy. Alright, he's... Alright, hold that thought. So, uh, dominant people, um, if you can pick out that personality trait, some things that uh, you know about them immediately. 
I will continue that in a moment because I'm almost in top 10 here and I have one kill. So it certainly has not been from uh, an abundance of aggression and wiping out half the lobby. That has not been the case. Do I take the hammer? I'm, I'm gonna take the hammer. I, every time that I die nowadays in endgame it's because somebody has a hammer and I don't. So while I cannot stand them I will uh, play ball today. Alright, I'll get that to green at least. No, not that. Damn up. Do we go through the drive uh, or eat at home? Are you talking about just decision making? <laughs> What's that, yeah, that's a pretty common decision that I end up having to make in a, on a daily basis. It's an important decision to make, honestly. I ain't cooking, so it's going to be one of those. Oh, what do you know? A green heavy that I just upgraded to. Isn't that nice? I don't know where all these goons are at. Oh. Oh, better put another one here. I just saw this guy. Yes, absolutely. Oh crap. I can't believe I missed that. Now I'm getting triple teamed. Ooh, I hit him. Dang, that was close. That was a good shot. Rhythmic Caesar. Number, place four. Not bad. Yes, exactly, for sure. That is uh, most certainly. There's one that I have in mind too. That that's a common conversation. <laughs> So anyways, um, dominant people, uh, again, I kind of have a radar up for them potentially getting a little aggressive. If nothing else, it, it, it will help you not be surprised when it happens. Um, also, if I'm in a sales environment, as in I am the buyer, and I notice that, that a uh, dominant person is the seller, I am typically automatically on my back feet because a lot of dominant personality types, they have their best interest in what they're trying to accomplish on their mind and 0% of your best interest in what's on their mind or what's in what's on your mind. So good to just at least have your guard up. Uh, it's not to say that, uh, that any of the four different categories of the disc is is better or worse than others. That's the whole thing is that everybody has strengths and weaknesses. Um, and every every person, again, because it's a percentage of, out of 100 uh, for each of the four categories, everybody is, uh, is different. So everybody's different. Um, for the other categories, you know, obviously the... Uh, the steadiness um they are very data driven um so for us in the sales world if we notice that somebody that we're trying to sell to is a uh, an s personality type then we focus heavily on the data behind the products 
Um, make sure that all of the details are in whatever kind of proposal or whatever we're sending over. If we're explaining stuff, we don't we don't talk about the touch and feel of the product. We talk about the application and the uh, the the down and dirty, nitty gritty, um, you know, components of it. And the more technical information you can rattle off to those guys, the more that uh, they will open up to you and be more apt to buy. Um, and then the conscientious folks are the very emotion driven people so those are the type of people that if you're a D type of personality or a D personality type rather um, it's important to be really really careful in like your conversations and whatnot with with uh, C folks because um, D folks they, they don't really you know typically don't have a whole lot of a filter they can say things that people can take the wrong way, and a C personality type could very easily get their feelings hurt by a D personality type. And the D personality type person doesn't even know what he, he just did because he just doesn't have a radar for that. It's not something that's on his mind or something that he uh, or she um, thinks about. Like, yeah, I don't know why that looks so different sometimes depending on the angle. Um, So yeah, and, and in the same way, um, you know, the very data-driven personality types, um, if they're in a conversation with an influence person like me, luckily I have a pretty good amount of uh, the steadiness. My personality type is barely balanced. Barely, barely balanced, barely. Um, so not like... Oh, I'm really balanced. I'm awesome. I, I just have a fairly balanced personality type. So, um, so luckily, I, I I am quite a bit of a numbers geek too. Um, but if if a full on uh, S personality type is in conversation with me, it there's a risk of of them or or not with me rather with a, another S personality type. Person or I personality type person. Great. Um, they could they could bore that person pretty easily. I should have healed. I don't know why I didn't pop my minis. You can you can bore them. You know, a, a, a true I personality type wants to again talk about big picture stuff like you know solving world hunger just to throw a. a a general one out there and if somebody's a strong I and a strong S is talking to them about you know numbers and like accounting and which is a very necessary thing but in my eyes uh, not menial not menial in a derogatory way because again it's a very important thing but for me I'm I would go absolutely bonkers if I was an accountant just staring at numbers and doing Excel sheet stuff all day, every day. Like, I need people interactions. I need to be inspiring others. Otherwise, I am far from fulfilled. So anyways, the point of that, again, is how uh, the more opposite personality, like the D and the uh, C and the I and the S, how those people interact. It's, it's really good to be conscious of... Uh, what you need to try hard on. Like for me, conversing with an S person, I would I have to try hard to to talk data and for them they would have to try hard to not talk data <laughs> basically. So putting a little bit of effort uh, towards that can can really help you in your relationships and uh Part of the reason I've been rattling off careers in relation to all to the four um, personality types, uh, or at least the disc version of the personality types, is because it tells your personality type can tell you a lot about what types of careers you would be best fit for. Um, so for younger folks, especially, um, again, I found out about this sort of thing when I was like 19 or 20, and it confirmed, which I pretty much already knew, it just confirmed for me that, like, yep, I should go into sales. <laughs> so, sales and or management, which is what I kind of based my college degree on, 
So that certainly helps me kind of narrow things down a little bit and at least get a start. Uh, I'm going to hit the restroom super quick. I will be back, be back in 60 seconds. All right, sick. Let's get in here and do maybe one or two more games, depending on how they go. So another part of self-awareness um, is if you know some of your negative tendencies, especially some of your internal thinking, and uh, you know a, some of the potential negative thought loops that you can get into of. Um, you know, being self-conscious in a bad way, um, and, you know, uh, maybe it's regarding looks. If you know your personality type, you can often use a, a different strategy based specifically on your type uh, to help combat some of that stuff. Um, ironically, I just used the word self-conscious in a bad way. I uh, was planning on talking about being self-conscious in a good way. Um, I think it's funny that self-conscious is a negative term. Obviously, it, it can be if if it means that you're uh, being overly um, concerned or obsessed almost with um, maybe your, again, your looks. I think that's a, a very common one that is over-obsessed about and, and people consider that being self-conscious. Um, but... I think it's funny that the opposite of conscious is unconscious, and I don't think that's good either. <laughs> like, uh, unconscious is, you know, a synonym for being knocked out. Um, so if you're unconscious, yourself uncon yourself unconscious, um, then that's probably worse, in my opinion, than being overly self-conscious um, in, a, in a borderline obsessive way. Um, I think that if you are self-conscious in a healthy way, then you're, you're, again, kind of just taking inventory of maybe, again, your habits. I think for people that struggle with substance use, a big part of how you can at least start to overcome that is being self-conscious of, uh, you know, the fre your frequency and amounts and things like that. If you if you're unconsciously using whatever substance it is, I don't care if it's caffeine. You know, it doesn't necessarily have to be a, an explicit substance, but um, caffeine or sugar, um, anything that can potentially be harmful. Uh, if you're conscious of Again, your frequency and your usage, it can give you an idea of where you're at. And the more you track that type of stuff, you can hopefully track your progress. Um, but I always try to at least be aware of that stuff and make a mental note of was that bad or was that okay? Because, I mean, we all go out for drinks with 
for the most part. Not everybody comes to the guest, but they all go out for drinks with people for the most part. And there are certain times when it's it's under control. You know, you have a couple of drinks, you go home, and you're good to go. There are other times when it, that's not the case. And uh, if you're... That hurt somebody outside this building. If you're at least conscious to the point where you can say that was too much or that wasn't too much, you know, like that was okay, then uh, it, it, it can help you kind of narrow in what you really need to work on. I'm going to start using this Thunder Shotgun a bit because the Heavy is certainly a high risk, high reward, but I have been not reaping the rewards of using that gun recently, so I think the Thunder is a bit more consistent just because it has more of that spread since it's not just a slug. Let's see if I can get the action over here. Who just shot that down? Somebody just shot that drone down. I don't know where they are. Yeah, it's so tempting though. Dang it. Um, still don't have any heals. I will get these. So anyways, my recommendation, again, is get to the point where you are a healthy level of self-conscious, uh, where you're, you're taking inventory of your habits and especially anything you might be struggling with. I don't, it doesn't necessarily have to be something you're struggling with. You could be self-conscious about um, how much you're looking in the mirror, you know, for, for people that are... Again, maybe being a little over aware of their. I swear, I just saw. Watched a guy walk in here. Oh, here he is. Oops, did not mean to do that. What just happened? Why did I slide? That? Come on, reload. You have to be kidding me. He's gonna have to come up on this side. Unless he's just still down there. Oh jeez. That wasn't a... I could have sworn that looked exactly like this guy's skin. Huh, well, my mistake. Good play, kid. I can't believe that SMG didn't kill him. But anyways, I think it's a good idea to get to a point where you're self-conscious. That was, uh, I guess, the end of the self-conscious discussion. Um, what have we got here? Alright, I'll run another one, and then we will go to Rocket League. That was a very frustrating death. I did lag at one point there, right towards the middle of the fight when I went to do that slide and it hesitated. That's uh, a bummer. I guess I could probably turn my music phone off. At least of the Wi-Fi until the end of the stream. Maybe that will help. Uh -huh. As usual, far from a pop-off night on uh, on the sticks in Fortnite. I'll land here. Uh, an exam another example of self-awareness is um, the the self-critiquing that I do a lot when I'm when I'm gaming. You know, I I've said it many a time, and I will continue to say it. <coughs> couple of my <laughs> excuse 
a couple of my weaknesses when, in, when it comes to gaming uh, are, you know, like pushing too aggressively, not being tactical and slowing down enough. I get too excited and I just want to go, go, go. And that is not always the right way to play. Uh, so that's a, you know, an example of me being self-aware and uh, recognizing my tendencies and potential weaknesses so that I can be constantly addressing them. I address them out loud, you know, here on the stream, even when I'm playing with my homies. I'll, uh, I'll critique myself and, and recognize, yep, I did it again. I pushed when I shouldn't have. And slowly over time, I think I've gotten a little bit better at it. Um, I'm not a very good duos player either, because I've played so much solos in my whole gaming career. Um, not necessarily solos as in like a battle royale solo, but I just solo queued. Uh, Halo and Call of Duty a ton in high school and college and whatnot. So I just am not used to being the best teammate because I never really had teammates that I was communicating with and whatnot. So I, I get caught up in the moment or get caught up in a fight and might forget to uh, help out a teammate or something when they could uh, use some help. So. Again, me being aware of that allows me to be more diligent in working on it and hopefully uh, improving it. What's up, dude? You gonna get away too? Why is my controller pulling to the left? Cow. Come on, come on. Hit a couple of these guys. But, uh, for another gaming self-awareness example. Um, this goes back to the likes and dislikes that I kind of talked about at the very, very beginning. Um, I know that my play style is usually long range. Um, I'm a precision player, so I like sniper rifles, I like long range guns. So if I pick up a new game, I know that if I find what appears to be a long range gun or a sniper of some sort, there's a good chance that I'll be decent with it and uh, like using it, and um, you know, that tells me, oh, I should probably pick this gun up. <laughs> Looks like a precision gun. But some people don't really know their, their play style or their strengths, so you know, they might just run around just picking up, picking up guns and not really knowing if it's going to be a good fit for them necessarily. Is that a... Oh, I got the slide bug. I was like, it's a Man, all right, I'm doing it. This was no build then. I would stick with the other, or stick with the pistol. But as you get later into the game and you start getting surrounded by turbo builders in build mode, uh, the pistol is a tough one because it does not break through builds very quickly. That was decent. This pistol's better than a lot of the other ones in the game, but still, I would say the SMG has a advantage on the breaking through builds. Um, area. Nope. I guess you can't. Probably already knew that, but. How did you hit me? Run away, run away. Okay, there's just one. Get all this stuff. Probably should have switched for the impulses here so I could just keep it all together and don't have to run back out here. But it ain't that deep. I'm still pretty close. 
Scared. I build up and get high ground on this guy, because I do not like being down likely below him. Okay. I think I just saw him too. How far do I have to go? It's not bad. Getting out of here. Rather make it to later in the game than to try to fight this guy and get stuck in the storm. Maybe some more heals too. Okay, I'm gonna impulse myself up here. I probably should have just fought that guy, honestly. or something over here? No, maybe not. Maybe the special event thing will have heals, but I'm going to use this augment inside. Inside like a smart person. Just going to do explosive bow for the impulse grenades. vending machine thing. Okay, good. That wolf is fighting that boar. I was like, if this dude comes at me, I'm gonna be angry. It's not really minding my business. I'm 60 meters away. the kisser. Where was the guy shooting at him? There he is. Oh, he stopped walking. Gotta abandon this. Can I please spend? use of this unlimited sprint that I have right now to do. You get the heck out of here. Don't have time for that. Come on, keep me unlimited. Those minis? Yes. Nice. Okay, cool. I feel a lot better having three minis. Slowly swing these way past them. All right, I'll fight for a second. Bucko. It's probably a 
bot. Oh, he's right. Bummer. Yeah, that's the bot. But this wolf is gonna be chasing me now, which is annoying. See you chase me up here, buddy. Have to be kidding me. I definitely saw them hit a couple of those hit. Bro, get out of my life. Unreal. Those things will chase you until the end of time, I swear. Sat perfectly on the edge here. There's a guy coming. Sounds like there's a guy. I mean, there's a guy coming out of the storm. Definitely one down that direction. I gotta go far as heck again. All right, I'm just gonna go fight this kid over here. or monthly gold and looking forward. So yeah, um, I'm pretty sure I talked about this a little bit on stream number one. If I remember, if I remember correctly, my goals, which that's not a good sign. If I, I know, I know that the streaming is is most certainly um, my biggest priority this year. Not necessarily any sort of audience or numbers or whatever of just getting a bunch of content created because i honestly have a lot of stuff planned for splitting some of this stuff out like some of the couple of mon you know, couple minute monologues splitting some of that um, okay. splitting some of the monologues out into individual youtube videos just for like an advice category um you know splitting out some of the the longer clips um for maybe you know end game stuff if i ever win a game on this stream i could always do like the last five minutes of a of a uh, a victory a solo victory or uh, if i have a really good rocket league game start to finish i could save that as a full video so i just want to amass a bunch of content that i can play with down the road so definitely trying to um make sure that the quantity is there and also the quality. Try to, you know, work on a lot of the planning stuff, a lot of the topics, try to go through some of these discussion um, thought processes that I have, have kind of been going through ahead of time so that when I get in the moment, I'm not just er, uh, um, or 
repeating myself like I have been a little bit here and there. Um, but it'll it'll get better as time goes on, I'm sure. And again, I, I have been planning and practicing uh, a little to try to, to make sure that it, it does definitely get better. Um, another one is get back in shape. Um, with my knee injury last year, I have um, not gotten out of shape when it comes to like being overweight, but just not being very strong, especially my left leg that is still a bit weak. So getting back in shape to some degree, at least back to normal um, physically. Um, and then uh, there was, I think there was one other thing. Those are most certainly the top two priorities. Um, I'm also going to be doing a little bit of travel this year. Uh, I definitely have some bucket list places that I... Did it lose audio too? I know it loses up the video. Dang, okay, I did not know that. Good to know. Um, so I, what I was saying, I don't know exactly where I lost uh, or <laughs> dropped. Uh, not intentionally, but... Uh, I, I'm the one that did it. Grabbing something from the kitchen really quick. I don't know where I lost the audio, but um, Zion National Park, Moab, Utah, uh, Grand Canyon, and hopefully a beach vacation in the winter, probably like uh, 10 months from now, winter, uh, not this winter. Alrighty, good old Rocket League. That was a frustrating last death to have because I most certainly should not have just been walking around on their builds in the open like that. The building stuff is, uh, it's hard to remember sometimes when you want to just shoot people. <laughs> I want to fight. I don't want to build, but I have got to get used to build fighting, not just fighting or building. Oh, I thought I had that. Okay. Knock the ball around a little. I was trying to practice uh, the the double touches the other day. I yeah, just keep the ball in a place where I can get another touch. I keep some of that aerial, the air, the midfield aerial control. Something that a lot of a lot of the time I will get outplayed on because I like going for the long range hits. But long range hits a lot of these higher level defenders, they're gonna block them all day long. Cause I mean you've got 
five seconds to get in position. Even if it's a tough shot and you've got to kind of get up in the air and, you know, fly around a little bit to get in the way like that or something, higher level players are going to get there all day long. I, I personally will get there all day long for the most part on, on a lot of the long range shots. The close range ones that uh, they keep you guessing that I'm not as good at defending. Because they're harder to defend. Gotta stay with it. Just dribbling in general, I mean, I'm decent at, but really not great. As I said about Fortnite, I'm a long range precision type of player in just about everything. Which is good, you gotta have both, especially in a team of threes. It's uh, good to have a long range player, uh, but it's very important to have a short range player as well. Um, that, the, that, that sort of, um, I mean, what I was just talking about right there, that sort of discussion is, again, another uh, example of self-awareness. And this is what lets me, when I'm doing practice, again, be more intentional about, okay, I'm, I'm already pretty good at, at aerials. I don't need to just get in here and work on hitting aerials. I'm pretty decent at that, and I, Know, automatically will continue to get better just as I play more actual games but if I'm gonna get in here and do a training session I'd rather do something that I know for sure that I'm weak on for my level of, of player if you will I mean me being a, a diamond two or whatever I should probably be better at short range plays luckily my long range stuff fails me out a lot but I'd be able to, to keep up a lot better and make better defensive plays and make better passing plays, just be a better teammate overall if, if I was stronger in the close range game. So definitely something I'm trying to get better at as I launch the ball across the map by pure habit. <laughs> oh boy. Old habits die hard. not bad. It's another one of those things that I, I have the ability to do it. I just either forget or... Ooh, that was close. Either I forget or I just um, don't pay attention to it. And should. Nice. Those are the types of goals that you can turn on a dime and surprise somebody and catch them out of out of place. How do we got here? 716. Give this another maybe five minutes or so. Get a couple of uh, a couple of games in. And I will, as I did last week, probably cut this one a hair short. Simply because I know that the Wednesday ones aren't the most exciting ones. I'm not trying to sweat on a Wednesday night. <laughs> I've already been working for three days and have two more ahead of me, so. I'm trying to save some of the uh, the mental energy. And on Friday, I can use as much as I want. Nice. See, that was good. That was exactly what I was talking about, where I stayed behind this enough to where I could get this second, this 
a little land touch right here. But if I'm just launching it up, up the field and losing possession, then not only is it rare that you're going to score goals, but you're giving the opponent... Uh, see, yeah, that's what I should have done. Those are a little bit harder, though. Stuff up on the wall. Um, given the other team possession, there's a chance that you're giving them an opportunity to support. So keeping it close is very important. What's up, nerd? I, w I won't cut it off early if, uh, if you want to stay on, but it's up to you. And plus, I mean, early. I still got a half hour left. Oh, no. That was exactly the uh, original ascent that I was looking for. Simply not the follow-up. Oh, no. Let's see if I can do this. I think I actually reset. And I uh, see I was a little bit too in far in front of the ball, but not by very much. So that was close to what I was looking for. I do think I like reset on that. <laughs> nice, thanks. Got a twitch just for me. Do you have to have, I think I think the answer is yes, but you have to have a Twitch account in order to watch any Twitch stuff, right? That was the big reason that I was hoping to do YouTube for streaming. Um, just because there's less of a barrier to entry. But I mean, it, at least Twitch makes it pretty easy to create an account. Get back here, yep. That was perfect. Well, not perfect, but what I was trying to do. Oh no, I lost, lost that one. Nice. Yep, see, there we go. I'm right behind the ball. I can continue to, to guide it where I would like it to go. Oh no. At least that would have been a great scoring opportunity for a teammate if I had one in here. All right, cool, it's feeling pretty good. Show, okay, cool. Ah, oh, to chat, right on. Okay, good, that is, that is good to know. Okay, 720, let's get in here and play some games. Even a little bit of that um, intentional practice and warm up stuff is, uh, is gonna help me, so while the first stream was, or the first Wednesday stream was a lot of practice stuff, uh, it'll probably slowly but surely dwindle down to the 20 minute mark. Woohoo! Yo, somebody text this kid. <laughs> Gone for this? Yep. All right. Cool. At least I backed out in time to salvage some boost. Get in. Oh no! I don't know. Boost. That was a grand mistake. All right. My teammate was gonna whiff. He did whiff there. Nice. Uh, oop. Okay. Hmm. I was trying to get either, either a bump or a demo on him. I don't have the boost for this, but okay. Uh, 
Nice, I did read that. <laughs> oh no. No, I flipped just a fraction of a second to it, but otherwise I would have a nice challenge on that. Ooh, that scared the crap out of me. It's like a jump scare. Looked like he hesitated. I get the double. Nope. Well, buddy, if you would have stayed back where I could have passed it to you, like I was trying to do. Dang it. Thought I cut that off. It's your mom's number. 209? What area, what, what area code is that? I think more than anything, I'm just making bad team play decisions, so I don't think it's a whole lot of mechanic. well, a couple of mechanical mistakes already, but I've definitely just been in the wrong place at the wrong time a bunch. Play by him. No. I need to keep practicing Fortnite, but I've, I've practiced a, a decent chunk. Oh, come on. Okay, right here. See, this is where uh, I had the somewhat right idea. I wish I could do that. That's what I really want to get to the point where I can do. Look at this. Great control. See, that play is exactly what I, what I am after. And I can hit those. It's just that initial surge up into the air where you got to stay right behind it. And that is a very, very touchy. It's very touchy in that you have to be very precise, I mean. Get out of here. Blocks there. Nice. Gonna kind of wait for them to screw it up. Dang it. Dude, we're getting the gimme goals right now. Alright, both have forfeited and I'll forfeit as well. Oh, yeah. I have a very great, a very great word that is used frequently. Just, yeah, see, look at that. I'm gonna forget that that game ever happened. Oh, sweet. All right, so for anybody, any late joiners, uh, the topic that I've been talking about tonight has been self-awareness, um, which again, uh, is being conscious of your strengths, weaknesses, uh, your habits, your personality type. I talked a little bit about the DISC personality assessment and, uh, you know, would again encourage everybody who hasn't done either that one or a similar one to figure out what personality type you are and find out, uh, based on your personality type, uh, how you should be careful with your interactions with, with other people. You know, if, if you're, again, like a strong D personality type, uh, in, at least in the disc sense, um, then be careful when interacting with um, S's and C's. S's, some, but also C's. Nice. Had that if you didn't, but glad I didn't have to have it. Um, yeah, just being aware of, of how to interact with other uh, different 
personality type folks. Oh wow, that's unfortunate. And also, uh, I talked about being uh, aware uh, and conscious of your habits. Um, you know, whether it's a bad habit, maybe. Um, if, if that is the case. Oh, yeah, give me that. Ah, oh, shoot. I didn't quite get where I wanted to. If it's a bad habit, uh, your, you know, maybe your frequency and your amount of usage you know maybe it's sugar or caffeine or smoking or fill in the blank anything that you would like to maybe monitor and manage um being conscious is the the best place to start it's just where am i at right now you know Crap, I meant that to go a little forward. It was still decent, though. Oh, no. Whew. That was a perfectly executed free jump, though. Can I get to this? Can I get to this? Dang it! That was very close. Come on, pass it, pass it. Let's go! Saw it coming. Dang, that would have been an awesome playoff of the, the aerial, honestly, but... At least we got the goal still. Uh, bad habit that I had been working on. Um, my sleep schedule is definitely one. Um, I am not a morning person, so on the weekends, I've been I have been doing better even in the last couple weeks about getting up more on time um, and getting the day started at a reasonable hour. Um, but on the weekends, I've been pretty guilty of just sleeping in until like noon. Um, and then I will carry that into my my weekdays, where I usually pretty I usually get up fairly decent. Uh, yeah, especially the last couple weeks since I've been improving on it. But um, it makes it harder for me to just have energy in the mornings. So, definitely working on uh, the, the sleep schedule. I've been working on drinking too. I, uh, around my birthday, it's, it's tough having uh, a lot of drinking occasions clustered together towards the end of the year. You've got, I have my birthday in mid-November, then Thanksgiving, which for a lot of families or get folks who get together, and friends giving givings things like that uh, you, you know usually some amount of alcohol associated then christmas stuff and then new year's of course so um definitely working on that one as well what are some things that you are working on miss ash lumpy No, my boots. I was up way too late for that. Okay, well, it wasn't a great play, but at least I launched it over towards the main and up the field a little. Don't do it. Don't you do it. Give me the boost. Uh, where he's playing with this? Crap, I went the wrong way. Just right here, though. Yep, got it. 
Boom. See, that helped a ton right there, just staying directly behind the ball, where he couldn't blast it over me. Oh, man. We're not going to be able to... Probably not going to be able to recover this one. Hmm. Trying not to be such a yes woman. That is a, that's definitely a good one. Gotta stick up for yourself. Can't be a doormat. Play again. Can't be a doormat. doormat. Say no to drugs. What are you, a cop? <laughs> uh, funny. What's up? Uh, a Corona, Corona O. What's up, man? Poor lady. I, uh, I'm queuing solos in threes, uh, specifically because I uh, do a lot of discussion stuff on my streams. Um, today I've been talking about uh, self-awareness, and because of a lot of the dialogue that I, you know, have planned and try to incorporate into my streams, I, I only solo queue as of right now. I will definitely at some point um, you know, be more willing to uh, partner up and stuff like that. But as of right now, like I said, uh, solo queuing, mostly because I have certain stuff I'm trying to work on and a lot of dialogue-related stuff that I'm trying to cover in the background of the streams. Um, other audio would uh, likely kind of get in the, in the way and interrupt a little bit of that, unfortunately. So, I saw we. I apologize. Uh, thanks for checking. Feel free to stick around if you want. And like I said, it, uh, eventually there's a good chance that I'll be doing some more partner-related stuff. But early on in this whole streaming project, I've got a lot of uh, discussion topics that I had planned out and want to cover. So I'm trying to get through them uh, in the early stages uh, as quick as I can. So then I can move on to other stuff, more fun stuff. All right, well, I did get that boost. Fire a little quicker on that, but that was close. Nope, oh, he's wide. Yeah, see, they're doing all these little short aerial touch plays. They're doing a very good job of it. Woo. Gotta get better at it. Nice, I love that. Oh, thanks for the compliment, by the way. I appreciate that. I think, yeah, I think self-awareness is key, man. Uh, did a lot of uh, talk earlier about, um, you know, in case you missed it, I, it was uh, talking about personality types, being aware of your personality type uh, so that you can more effectively engage with other people and also just be more uh, mindful of some of your potential bad habits and common mistakes you might make. Uh, being aware of that stuff is the first step to improving and hopefully eventually fixing them. So uh, I also talked a little bit about, you know, consciousness, not in the sense of like a spiritual way, which is something that I certainly um, have done a, a, a wee bit of, you know, quote unquote studying, if you will, uh, but just lightly. Uh, it was more consciousness as in being conscious of um, of your actions and uh, again, nice shot. Well, that goal explosion is pretty cool. Um, more just being conscious of your behaviors, your habits, your strengths, weaknesses, all that good stuff. So, meditative states of consciousness during video games. Interesting. Almost botched that. <laughs> Oh! Oh man! 
was in a great place. Yes, go in! Let's go! Good stuff, teammate. Programming your subconscious. Okay, yeah, I kind of get where you're getting at there. I think that positive self-talk is uh, a big one for that. that that's the, the, the best way that I have found to, for me at least, to program my self-conscious is positive self-talk and not even thought, like talking it out loud. Um, that, you know, definitely uh, can ingrain things in your brain that you, you know, like your, your statement says, you know, self-consciously, that's just your brain's new knee-jerk reaction. It's an automatic thing. You don't have to uh, do it manually. Uh, I have not played Rocket League or other video games on psychedelics. I'm sure it's a blast, though. <laughs> I, I'm so competitive, I'm sure I'd probably be miserable uh, doing that, and I would get frustrated, or I'd log in the next day and have... I would, I would have tanked my rank. Let's go, baby. I knew that that challenge was going to get there. <laughs> I bet so. <laughs> Absolutely. Manifestation and gratefulness. Uh, for a while, I was doing a gratefulness meditation in the mornings almost, where this was back when, uh, honestly, it was when I was in not that great of a mental s spot. It was early on in my sales career, and, you know, it, it can wear on you at times. And I learned a tactic that for, um, for 60 seconds, uh, you rapid fire out loud stuff that you know individual things that you're grateful for um so that one just kind of usually you know puts you in a good mindset especially early on in the day before you're about to go walk into the office and make sales calls all day oh, i side flipped instead of back flipped um but another one that i use probably more frequently even sometimes still to this day is um 60 seconds or so each of these. Uh, what am I proud of? So past tense. What am I thankful for? Present tense. And what am I excited for? Future, future. And I think that that one gives you a pretty good uh, diversity of um, kind of what goes on uh, in your head and you know, being proud, thankful, and excited. Those are three really, really uh, powerful uh, attributes for your mind, your, you know, your, your state of mind. If you're all three of those things early on in the morning, you're probably going to have a good day. <laughs> I've also used that one a lot um, with uh, more, I guess, for lack of a better term, depression. Not that I've ever been fully, um, you know, what I would consider to be like medically depressed, maybe borderline for at a couple of points in my 30 years. But uh, if I'm just kind of feeling down, that's a great way to pick myself back up later in the evenings. Um, yeah, I use I love using that the just the 60 seconds on each past, present and future. All right. One second here. Stop giving a shit about winning or losing. I, I, I like that. I, I could probably do it and play casual, honestly, because, I mean, Fortnite, I pretty much exclusively queue casuals because I'm decent in casuals and don't stand a chance in arena. <laughs> uh, and, and, and luckily, there is also a casual uh, version of, uh, of Rocket League. So, hey, may have to... Uh, Put that one in the memory bank. I appreciate the recommendation there. Especially a lot of these video games, like, I don't think I could rock Call of Duty on anything. <laughs> uh, but, you know, games like Rocket League and Fortnite that have a lot of colors, a lot of neon, they're just very aesthetically pleasing. I think that, uh, you know, that, I could see that being a really good time. Yeah, 
Can I get under it? Nope. Couldn't quite get there. Um, dang, I didn't see him coming off the wall. Getting that properly. Barely got a piece of that, but hey, I got enough of a piece of it. Get out of my face. Oh no. Great. Teammate, what are you doing? Yep, absolutely. Give your give yourself some eye contact in the mirror and rip some of those. That stuff I should do every single all of us should do every single day. It's great to, I, it is nice though, I'll, while I've, I've never been great at long-term daily habits, I do really like having some of those kind of tools in the tool belt, if you will. Again, like I said a minute ago, for times where I'm either trying to get pumped up or if I'm feeling down and, and need a, a little refresher, it's great to have stuff like that in your arsenal to be able to bust out, especially if if you know the signs of like, you know, when you need X, Y, Z. Um, it, it's uh, life changing, no doubt. Oh no, did he? He botched it, let's go. Yeah, right over their heads. I'm gonna whiff and go for, oh, I went for the demo and I missed him. Very close. But I missed it. Let's see if I can get up for this. Yep. Get there though. Hope oh, should have kept that a little closer to me. Dang it. it nice I'm just gonna go back nice I saw he wasn't expecting it oh man this is trouble go in let's go didn't even get the double jump boost in on that one I was just pure boost forward Man, I love that that line you said right there. The life is more fun when you don't care about dying. One of my life mottos, it's legitimately on my Instagram bio is, uh, I'm not scared of dying, I'm only scared of not living while I'm alive. So yeah, I mean, I, you know, I think there's a, a point where that can come become a little overly reckless, but man, I have so much more fun, like just not being scared. We are cut from the same cloth, my friend. Yeah, for sure. Makes sense. I definitely think if uh, if I'm having more fun, I just, you know, like you said, kind of care less. I'm, I'll, I'll go for riskier plays and oftentimes execute them better because I'm having fun or whatever. Come on, get to it. Dude, how'd you not see that pass coming? Another one. I went right under it, and I missed the demo. That's unfortunate. Oh, how did I? I thought that was a reset. Yes, please follow that up. Please don't whip. Hmm. I figured I was probably not going to hit that, but I figured I would at least scare them. Okay. 
Dang, I should have kept boosting. I could have had that angle. Bummer. Come on. Score it. That's not scoring it. I think I could have hit that. That backboard touch if I just would have flipped my car backwards, not even with the boost. Should have executed that a little better. Dang. Good shot. Should have been expecting that more. My name's Aaron, you can say it. <laughs> Bike rides are are definitely solid. Need to fix my bike. Fixing my bike wasn't much of a concern last year. Just uh, said, well, homeboy had 24 points. Like, what are you doing in my lobby, dog? Especially on my team. At least, at least if you're going to be in my lobby, be on the other team. <laughs> Anyways, um, I've, I've got a kind of a hybrid mountain city bike. It's not a full-on mountain bike, but it's definitely not a city bike. Um... I need to fix it, but I was on crutches for seven months last year, so it really was not anywhere close to the top of the to-do list. Do something new, and one thing I try to do, well, want, want to try to do more of is do something new when I'm sad. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to help keep you happy. Yeah, I think I think so. I think learning new things usually captures a lot of your attention. And that can kind of take your mind off of, of things. If it's doing something that you, like for me, playing Rocket League, I don't have to use my brain all that much. Um, a lot of it's just muscle memory and just decision making. So there's a lot of time that that I, you know, could be thinking. And if I was down, I'd probably be thinking about negative stuff. So, I, but I think if you're learning something new, again, you, you, you're captivated by it you know your full attention is directed at that um so yeah that, that i i don't think that i've heard that but um it does make a lot of sense you want to keep in mind all righty good touch there Please spawn. Nice. Asking your shower see, eh? <laughs> oh, we double committed. Please hit this. Uh. Nice. Go in. Wow, I should have tipped the other way. That's my bad. That was a, an easy, it should have been an easy one. I just freaked him out. I want to get to that. Trying to get more aware of where my teammates are to uh, decrease the uh, frequency of double commits. I figured he was going to get there to that one. I should have pumped that. It's okay though. Oh, hello. Coming in hot. Sick. <laughs> is he gonna get that? Yeah, he is. Nice. He's gonna spin around in circles like an idiot for a second. Wow, how did he get right back in there and catch that? Get there. Close. Dang. Good 
Give me that boost. Nice! Mountain biking. Me and Jesus have an understanding, okay? Need to get better at not skipping forward too high in chat. Nice! Good, good shot. Alright, homeboy. Appreciate you popping in as always. You have yourself an awesome day. I'm sure I'll talk to you probably tomorrow, or if not, Friday. <laughs> Dang. That would have been insanity. Woo. Can I get there? Oh man. I read it poorly. And I read that poorly. And I missed the boost. We're just all over the place right now. I can get to this. Nice. Dang it. Yep. I think I got some of that. Oh, wow. Lock it. Go in. Nice. Um, I'm sticking with Fortnite and Rocket League for the near future. Um, at least for the main three days. Uh, the Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Mountain Time, 8 to 10 Eastern Time. Sticking with Fortnite and Rocket League, mostly because, uh, again, my whole stream kind of has like a competitive theme that I'm trying to stick to. And these are the two most competitive games that I play outside of Halo. And Halo is not a very big fan favorite going close. Oh, no, I was passing it, dude. Um... So yeah, they're they're very easy games to to practice, um, like I was doing at the beginning of the stream. Very easy to practice. Very easy to identify your mistakes and uh, just get better at. Um, hate hate again. Halo is too, but I I don't think that the practice methods are as easy in Halo. That's a dub, baby. Um, so, yeah, sticking with Fortnite and Rocket League, I've been splitting the two hours semi-evenly, uh, where I do roughly an hour of Fortnite and then roughly an hour of Rocket League, uh, just to mix it up, not only for myself, but also for the viewers, um, also lets you kind of dip into both crowds. If somebody likes Fortnite and doesn't like Rocket League, then, hey, you can, you know, they can stick around for the first hour. Um, and if on the flip side, they like Rocket League and not Fortnite, then they can, you know, stick around for the second hour. Um, I will definitely, yeah, exactly. I'll, I'll, I'll probably mix in once I get through a lot of these topics that I have stored up that I want to talk about. Um, I'm going to play one more game. Um, once you get through a lot of the topics, then it will open me up to be able to do some of that stuff. But for the beginning, at least, um, got a lot of stuff that I'm trying to cover. Uh, I I will say there's a good chance, um, even in the near future, on some of the not major days, for example, like maybe a Saturday afternoon or a Sunday afternoon or evening, one of the not Monday, Wednesday, Friday themed days, I will probably mix in some some other streams, um, 
or, or some other games on stream. Uh, the, the probably the most likely one is Halo Infinite, um, just because again that's that's a game that I'm somewhat good at, um, which makes it just more fun to watch. But that will be you know again as needed or as I see fit, or as I decide to do it, kind of spur of the moment, most likely. But yeah, I mean, as time goes on, uh, I will, you know, very possibly mix in some, some more story-type games. Um, it's honestly silly not to. Everybody except for the pros and people who are, like, really dumb good at... at Fortnite and Rocket League, they they mix in. Ooh, nice. They mix in other stuff. Just again diversifies your audience and gives people something new to watch. All that jazz. That was a good a good play by me. Not to toot my own horn, but uh, let that one slide. I think he's gonna get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dang it. That's unfortunate. A heck of a shot. Oops. No, 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 no. I guess I can take that. not have that, so I'm glad he was there for that ball. Dang it! I thought I touched that where I could get another one in on there. Well, close. Glad that what I was working on in training today is uh, I'm at least seeing some improvement in the gameplay where I'm making more conscious and more soft. Oh, go in! Oh, no! That would have been awesome. Nice! There you go, baby! Man, that... That redirect touch. Was, uh, would have been awesome. Yes, uh, streaming My Little Pony would certainly give me a very diverse and probably a very interesting audience. Not, not quite the uh, the type of audience that I'm trying to capture. Uh, the audience that is interested in self improvement tactics and um, you know stuff like personal finance and whatnot. They're probably into not much else other than My Little Pony. <laughs> Dang it, that was not exactly what I was going for. But it worked out okay. Oh, these kids in their demos. It's clearly not working out for them that great because we are up this way before. Gotta try to watch them a little better and take them out, you know, juke the, the demos. Dang it. I just pool shot him into that. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> I'm just going to keep this ball up on our half, honestly. I'm not even going to go for a shot like that. All that I need to, to do is make sure that they don't get an easy you know, counter goal if we are all three committing. Damn. Bro, how are you? Staying with that. Hit. Dang it. 
Can you even be good at My Little Pony? I don't even know a single thing about it. But I don't really picture it being the type of game where you can either be bad or good. That was huge. Keeping a two-goal lead is, is clutch. Nice! Good stuff. They forfeited. Got a couple of dubs for the end. Got MVP a couple of games. That is going to just about do it, ladies and gents. I am going to use the restroom, and then I'm going to wrap up here uh, with a couple things in a second. So I will be right back. Funny. I'm gonna knock these challenges out and just add some closing thoughts. So, um, again, marching or I guess marching orders, if you will. Uh, I would encourage and challenge everybody to uh, certainly do some research on personality types if you're not familiar with uh, the personality type that you are. Um, take inventory, you know, on on some of your um, your habits and some of your uh, mannerisms that maybe could use improving. You know, not everything needs improving uh, when it comes to mannerisms or or habits, but there are some that uh, are better than others, and some that should be should be worked on. So, doing an inventory of of that sort of thing will at least give you a starting point and let you know what you need to work on and focus on um, in the moment. Um, be conscious, uh, whether it's a competitive environment uh, or in your day-to-day -day of your weaknesses, uh, especially in the competitive world, being mindful of your weaknesses and making note of your frequently made mistakes. Uh, again, that's something that I try to point out on purpose a lot while I am streaming is pointing out the mistakes, saying them out loud. So I am trying to make a, a better mental note of, I did it again. I need to keep, continue working on it. Um, yeah, outside of that, uh, I think self-awareness is a, again, a super important part of, uh, adulthood. I think it's a very lacking thing. In the world overall, uh, I see a lot of mistakes made in the self-awareness realm in the business world, for sure. Even with full-blown adults, uh, yeah. So it, it it's something that you will certainly help set yourself apart if you are educated and mindful of it and using it to your advantage. So I would encourage you to do that. But uh, we'll we'll. Knock it out for the the rest of the night. Um, 
Yes, I'm sure you are perfect and don't need to improve. Uh-huh. Totally. <laughs> uh, that'll, that'll do it for tonight. Appreciate everybody tuning in for the Wednesday midweek chill sesh. We're back in action Friday, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Mountain Time, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Eastern Time for happy hour, having some beers, uh, playing some games, goofing around, having just a grand old time to celebrate the beginning of the weekend. So hope you're able to make it. Uh, don't forget that replays are available on the YouTube page. Uh, Clips available, of course, on the Twitch, and I will see y'all again soon. Have a good rest of the evening. Peace out. Bye.